Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's review time. And what are we reviewing today? Well, we're going to be reviewing something that I bought from Mr. Bretland. Uh, he's got he's selling some of his stash to uh, fund other pursuits. This little beauty. I love building bikes. I really do. And I think Tamiya probably make the best bikes um they really are tremendous uh paul was selling this one and i had to grab it because i've seen what it's like built up if you do it right it, it's awesome it really is um i'm holding off on building it purely because there's um certain i want to make certain that when i do it i've got the right skill set to do it justice um i also need the right paint uh I want to go in with some proper metal paints in there. I don't want to use Tamiya's metal paint or Revels or right at the bottom of the pile Humbrols. Um, maybe their enamel ones might not be too bad, uh, but I really want to sort of hold out for all plaid or I think I'm going to go with MRP. Uh, they do a range of metal paints. Um, and I think they will do this justice, um, but we'll wait and see. I really need them before I'm going to start. I have got the uh, the, uh, Paul sold it with with the kit. It's a Kawasaki Kawasaki Green, and ooh, get it out without dropping it. Yes, this. As you can see, this has been sat some time. <laughs> Just looking at the side there, it needs a thorough shake. But it's uh, an emerald. Is it emerald? Is emerald green? Yeah, an emerald uh, metallic green colour. Uh, when it's mixed up, it looks beautiful. And uh, that's what I'm going to use for it. And this is zero paint, candy green. So that's going on as the uh, main colour. So just before I start the review, I just want to mention that um, one of the things that I'm trying to do uh, as well as build my channel up, uh, the area I live in, I live in Northamptonshire, um, I've had a look around, there's not, there's either no modelling clubs or there may be one which is in uh, a totally a different town to where not, I live in Northampton, I live in Northampton town itself. And I want to start a club for Northampton and the Northampton area. I've got a Facebook page set up. There's a, there's a couple of members on the Facebook page, but I want to give it a plug. If you're in Northampton um, or you live in the Northampton area and you're not affiliated to any club, or even if you are and you want to join another one, please come along to the page, have a look. I've got things planned, but at the moment there's too few members to do a meet-up or anything like that. Um, so, you know, I really want to I want to get on top of that maybe this year at some point. Try and build up the member list and, um, you know, go from there. You know, maybe start arranging meet-ups, uh, maybe a regular meet-up. I don't know. Uh, the, you know, just do whatever I can. So uh, that yeah, that's so that's the Northampton Club. I'll put the the Facebook page in the description, but I believe it's facebook.com forward slash model uh, Northampton Modelers Club. I think I, is it's is its page name dot com. But I'll put it I'll put it in below in the bits and bobs. So with that. Let's go over to the new super duper overhead camera, which we used in a couple, we've used in a video so far, and it worked very well. I've just had a look at it. Uh, the microphone was a bit, uh, wasn't picking up too good, but we can um, 
get another microphone if needed. So let's go over to the other camera. So I have been in this kit. Um, I wasn't going to review it because obviously Paul I believe has already reviewed this but um, I thought what the hell I'll give it a go because uh, I do like the bikes and this is a really nice kit so it's only right I should uh, do a review on it I reckon and so it's the uh, let me put that back on because I've never done the uh, it's a Ninja ZX-12R by Kawasaki and uh, we've got some box art on the side which shows the bike in a different colour and we've got the fairings and everything in green and we've got the indicators and uh, clear parts there that illustrated as well uh, there's a picture of the bike on the side in green and one exactly the same on the other side in green um, the item number is 14084 and I don't know whether that 84 in large letters afterwards is also supposed to be on there and the same on there, pardon me and we've got a blue and a red one there so didn't focus in that quick did it anyway so let's take the lid off put that there <clears throat> take everything out I haven't actually had everything out the kit I have looked in the box but I haven't had everything out the kit so let's see right <clears throat> first of all what have we got here a uh, little in, bit of information on painting uh, it tells you that the image colors are for the 2000 model of the Ninja ZX-12R and are candy lime green, silver and red for the 2001 a blue body so yeah it just tells you dependent on the year which, color to, which colors to use <clears throat> so we've got the instruction manual typical Tamiya stuff um, as usual beginning with uh, tools you might need and uh, a little bit of some colour call outs there, body colour so on and so forth so what have we got going together here uh, the first part is the engine assemblies going together first and then we go across we've got the uh, engine assembly again as part of the cylinder heads going on the pistons going in um, got some little spark plugs look as though they're going on there um, pipes to the fuel pump etc um, got some decals going on um, there just very early on in the engine then we've got the two uh, halves of the they're not fuselages are they the frame two halves of the frame coming along and then we go on over to here uh, more of the frame assembly there going on with some panels going on in the rear mud, mud guard area uh, we've got a uh, front radiator going on there and it looks like the engines going into the frame and then we've got the uh, cogs chain going in rims and the wheel tires We've got the front suspension and forks going together there and the front wheel by the looks of it um, no that's the rear wheel sorry rear wheel the uni suspension going on there sorry my mistake um, and then that's attaching to the back of the, uh, the back of the frame there the swing arm so the swing arm goes on number eight then we come over and it's sort of front handle bars and uh, various bits and bobs there some tubing to go on uh, throttle cable and so on and we've got disc brakes and rims and then they're going into the tires and then we've got the front forks going on there um, over the page uh, we've got headlights going in and headlight unit 
dials and indicators and so on and so forth in the form of a decal I'm guessing uh, that's going on there tank rear light seat uh, we've got the exhaust going on there uh, the exhaust being attached uh, we've got some trimming going on there at the exhaust but then what that's for and then we've got the fairing going on um, and the two side fairings there uh, and over the page more body panels uh, cowlings going on um, more cowlings going on and I believe step 20 no step 21 uh, we've got wing mirrors and number plates and indicators all going on there to finish it off so quite a complex build um, well if you follow the, the things carefully they're not so complex really it's fairly straightforward um, not a beginner's kit I wouldn't have thought but I guess it depends on your level of proficiency so we've got that we've also got some uh, decals going on here I'm gonna, and they've been stapled obviously for transport I don't know anyone any manufacturer that would staple them in like that right, let's got rid of that and what have we got here? We've got some nice, yeah, we've got some dials um, and some other bits and pieces going on. So we've got some great um, Kawasaki, I'm just trying to see, it's printed in Japan. Appears in register, I can read the small writing which is great and we've got some nice sort of uh, different uh, stuff going on there that um, if you can see there we go some nice artwork to go on the side and then at the bottom there we've got the uh, Styles. and other bits and bobs that go around the uh, and constant interruptions sorry about this uh, then we've got the they look to be mirror mirror decals and I don't know if you can pick that up in the light it's a bit it's just a there we go you can just about see the edge outline so I think they're mirror and maybe light to go behind the lenses on the lights I'm not sure but uh, yeah some, that's a nice touch there nice touch yeah so and we got the, that's the decals taken care of if I can get these back in right. then we come to the cowlings and front headlight unit sorry this is and they're done in clear plastic uh, stock glass clear styrene I don't know I think this is so you can leave part of it clear to see underneath um, I really don't know the purpose of these clear kits to be honest I, that's the only thing I can think of but at the same time I kind of think it wouldn't really look that nice with these clear showing underneath 
Um, I, you know, I don't know. I've never actually seen one done before. I mean, it shows it on the box with it all painted up and then it's sort of feathered out into a clear part where you can see the engine. So, um, we'll have to wait and see when we put it together. Not really much detail on that front, but then there wouldn't be. Um, let's have a look. It's going to appear to have a lot of staples in. Sprue number one up, and this is a clear sprue. So, uh, not a lot going on. It got a little bit of detail here and there. Um, not an awful lot though, with it being clear. Um, it's sort of got a, a metallic finish to it. It's sort of, you know you get that metallic paint, you can see the, the silver type finish showing through inside. This does have that. Um, so it's not just a clear green finish there. Let me just see if I can show this at all. I don't know if this is going to show through or not. Uh, I don't know if you can pick up that sort of metallic type finish it's got going on there. And basically these are all your outer cowlings and fairings that uh, we're seeing here. Of course there's not very many seam lines on uh, fairings and such on bikes. Like root panel lines as such because the panel lines are where the two sections intersect really so we've got another take these staples out I didn't think Paul was such a fan of staples We've got a clear piece. Oh yes, that is uh, very clear, very nice. So you can see here, nice clarity. Doesn't appear to be any scratches, smudges. That is fantastically clear. It really is. There is no distortion coming through. I'm just looking through it and there's no distortion. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that is one of the clearest clear pieces I've ever come across. They've normally got a little squiggle on straight edges when you look through or something like that. And that is crystal clear. That really is. That's very impressive. So we've got what appear to be a few chromed pieces and that looks to be the exhaust. Naturally I will be uh, I will be removing the chrome off of that because I'll be going for my own um, interpretation of chrome and I'll probably do, as it's only these few pieces, I may even do them with a metalizer. Um, this is inside a headlight. I may leave that one. I may leave that one alone and not remove the um, finish off of that. Let's see, what have we got here? We've got... Um, Titanium, so that's meant to be titanium, not chrome. <coughs> Ollie. <coughs> Ollie. 
Apologies one second. So, nice finish on that. Oh, well, sorry, I've lost my train of thought now. Um, so that's meant to be representing titanium, not chrome. Um, so, I don't think titanium quite looks like that. I'm trying to remember. Um, I may well remove that off of there and, and spray it myself. Nice to see that they haven't absolutely blasted everything with chrome. And here we've got some engine pieces. Now we start to see, all, see Tamiya's detail coming through. And um, their bikes are normally extremely well detailed. Um, as you can see, coming through on there, got the casings, they all look really, really spectacular. Some smaller parts going on there. Nothing on the backside worth noting. Yeah, not going to see anything on that backside anyway. The uh, titanium work will be on display, so that really needs to be top notch when it's put together. Now we've got the sort of main engine components, radiator, brake discs um, I need to get a really fine drill and I think I'm going to try and drill out those brake discs I just need a very fine drill um, and yeah I think I'm going to try and drill out those brake discs it's not uh, it isn't totally impossible and it's well within my capability, I think. Let's see if we can... There we go. We want to take that bright light away a little bit if we can. So, there we go. We can see the detail on the brakes. And then going through, we've got the various parts there. The radiator coming in now, coming into shot in the middle of the screen, and various other parts. We've got, I think, their pistons there, or they will be pistons. And the two halves are they going to make up the fuel tank area? And then we've got part of the frame coming in, part of the side casing. and some more engine components there as well again nothing worth noting on the other side um, nothing that you're going to really see very well nice color nice color for those that uh, maybe struggle with painting or other I guess you could leave them I don't know I wouldn't want to personally but um, I suppose they are the, that sort of colour you could get away with leaving them if you were unable to paint for whatever reason. And then the final big sprue, more staples, I should have seen these, took these off before I started, I haven't got a staple remover, not that I need one. but. There we go. And these are rims, uh, rear mud guard. We've got the chain uh, engine chain. Is it the engine chain? 
sprocket and drive sound like a duo and we got the seat there and then the front headlamp there front headlamp there and then we go across we've got one of the rims there is no sort of burring or flash of any kind anywhere uh, it looks like the seat may be in two separate parts uh, with the front of it being la 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 la, this piece here and the back of it is possibly uh, I did see you a second ago. My mistake. Yeah, I thought I saw you a second ago. It's still possibly two piece seat. You have the front wheel, rear wheel. There's the rear wheel at the rear wheels here. This would be the front wheel. Easy to tell, obviously, because of the thickness. Rear wheel's a lot thicker than the front wheel. And we've got the rear. I'm going to say this is the rear sort of light cowling. There. And then we've got the front handlebars going on here. And the, words, the mouse mat keeps catching on the um, there's the front handlebars oh. going on there got a nice level of detail where needed it's not been over overdone there's I mean there's absolutely no need for overdoing it but here we've got the the handlebars, the brake calipers. Um, they're very well, you know, they're fine. And we've got the instrument panel going on here. If you see that instrument panel, there with uh, an inlay to put your decals. And then just here, that's where we've got the handlebars and the brake calipers. Handlebars. Now we can see the instrument panel better there. And brake calipers. So, you know, good, good, um, very well made, as you would expect from Tamiya. I mean, they, their bikes really are top notch. They certainly know their stuff. And then we've got um, a couple of sprues there with some orange indicators and a red brake light. I'm not going to get them out of there. Um, but you can see that one's orange, one's red. And now it saves you having to paint the clear. And we've got the tyres in here. Um, again, we've got a spring in there, some uh, uh, screws, and some long threaded screws there, and some tube vinyl tubing, and a little screwdriver. And I'm just having a look. There is a seam on the front and the rear wheel. There's a seam line that runs around the centre but um, nice tread on them and it wouldn't take too much to get that out of there. Um, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to remove them out of the packet. I don't think Paul did either because this is sealed. And we've got some nice roller tubing in there so excellent, very well built, very nice kit indeed. Um, so that's about it really for this review excellent kit certainly not for the beginner 
got to be careful, there doesn't appear to be a lot of room there, so these have to go in. They can stay flat. Now I think that. Right, I know. These are going to have to go in a certain way, otherwise they're not going to fit in the box very well. And there's not going to be enough room then. So, let's put that there like that, that one there like that. There we go. Lovely job. Ready to build. So there we have it. It's the Tamiya Kawasaki Ninja ZX12R, and that scale on that is 112. Highly recommended. Um, not for the beginner though. And um, with that, all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thumbs up, please, for the video. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.